Keep watching Charis TV. Greeting in the name of Jesus. My name is Pastor Hendrik Ranghave from Free State Kronstadt. So uh, I knew about Charis via social media on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, the challenges that I was having actually it was a it was a ministry because actually I was very confused on on what is happening in my in my in my ministry because the ministry is not growing and I'm having some challenges about financial problem so this is one of the challenges that I was experiencing in in ministry okay um domain of god uh, at first she asked me about a uh, Kidira Inka, Ka Forex, am I in Forex? Then I said no. Then she said to me that uh, there are people who tempt me via business because the ministry is not doing well. Then I said yes, there are a lot of people who come to me, they want me to be involved in business so that uh, so that nga hono to la pelaka ka ka business. But I've realized or oh, it's one of the things that will took me away from the will of God because it will shift my focus so she said to me that I shouldn't have to allow these people to come closer to me because they will shift uh, they will shift me away from the things of God because they want me to be involved in business and which is true uh, she did prophesy me about a, a dream that I once had concerning my my calling and ministry uh, she said, I, I once had a dream whereby uh, I saw myself in a big building whereby I'm preaching to people. Then I confirmed it, yes, it was true. Then she said that there was a, there was a person in a dream who did pray for me and who spoke some things. Uh, then I confirmed it, yeah, it was true. That person revealed the plan of God, what God want me to do. Then I confirmed it, it was true. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. We need you for the last, the last time. You are free in Jesus' name. Those are the, those are the two prophecies. Then uh, one of the things that she emphasized a lot concerning me it was to be focused and which is true because i was actually confused on what am i supposed to do am i supposed to engage myself into business or into ministry because uh, these people they want me to be in in business and i've realized that once i can be in business i i have to forget about the ministry but she said to me that i have to be focused then god will reward me Actually, I am so excited because whatever that she said, I was waiting for the confirmation to hear what God is saying concerning uh, my ministry. Because actually, uh, it was one of the things that I've realized that once I can be in business and I will be in business forever, then I will not be in ministry. So she told me that I have to be focused in ministry and which is the way that I've been waiting to hear from the Lord. Okay, what I can say to the young pastors, I will say that uh, it's very important that you you have to be aware with your association because sometimes we associate ourselves with people that we think these people they can be a light into ourselves, but we are not aware that these people they are taking us away from the will of God. So what I will say is that it's very important that we have to be aware with our association. Association is very important. So I think that they are people that we have to be aware of so that they should not take us away from the will of God. And again, it's very important that you, 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 you surround yourself with people who are above you in, in, in terms of ministry, in terms of business, people that you can consider them as your mentors. Like myself, to came here, it's one of the things that bring joy into, into my heart because... Uh, 
if ever maybe I, I would have been advised by someone uh, on my same level, maybe I will not consider that advice. But because of uh, the woman of God spoke to me and I took that advice and I, I did listen whatever that she said to me.